Okay, so this is just for task four, Woodlands Homes, and this is 962604, uh, February, March 2017. And we're just gonna be doing the JavaScript bit. I'm using brackets, so I'm gonna make this full screen now. Basically, you have to do a couple of if statements to make sure that uh, it's not blank, and uh, you then have to test it to make sure it works. Um, once you know how to do this one, it's fairly simple. Uh, it should take you a couple of minutes. Bear in mind, it's only 10 marks, so don't get too stuck on it. Um, you should probably be spending max of 15 minutes on this. Okay, so uh, we need to enter the correct house name. And this one, we can pretty much, we know that these ones are working because they did them for us. So all I'm gonna do is copy and paste the initial if statement. There we go. And instead of house value, down the bottom here, we've got house value equals equals uh, equals, and uh, speech marks. I guarantee a lot of you will get stuck by not putting the extra equals in. Uh, that's done to trip you up 100%. So just make sure you do that first before you change anything else. And then literally you're gonna copy, in fact, I'm gonna cut it so I know I've done it. And where it says house.value, I'm just gonna paste over there and I no longer need that part. And the message was, um, please enter the correct house name. Okay, so at the moment it's already limited. Uh, they've done that bit up here. We're now just making sure that it's not blank. Uh, so I'm just gonna put that in. Okay, if house value dot value, please enter the correct house name, Ash, Birch or Oak. Okay, so that bit is done. And we can go down the line. And next up, we are going to do the name value because it says please complete all other information. So we have to do these ones here. Okay. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to comment that out, comment this out, and I'm just going to check that's working so far. Okay. And. Ah, I don't need that bit there. Okay, let's just save that again, give it a shot. Okay, so I've gone wrong somewhere, let's have a look. Um, if house.value equals equals blank, date equals, ah, that should be window.alert. Open up the brackets and close the bracket. Okay. S silly little mistake. Please enter the correct house name. Okay, perfect. So we've got that spot on. Now that we know we've done it correct one time, we can copy and paste it for the next few. I'm just going to put a space between them. Okay. And next up, we're going to do name.value. So I'm going to cut that. I'm going to put it in there. And now I'm going to say, uh, please complete all the information. And I can copy this and I can use it for the other if statements as well. There we go. And I'll just fill these in first, whilst I've got it on my clipboard. And next up, number booked equals value. Let's cut that, put it in there. And finally, session value you can go in there. Okay, I'm just going to double check this works. Okay, so correct house, one, two, and three. Perfect. Okay, so that's tested and working. I know that it's tested and working because I just got three errors of the same. It can only be these three. Uh, next up is the slightly more complex part. We need to test whether the house, uh, the number booked equals one or more. Okay, so this is the question, the text in the final alert should match the number of people booking, for example, one person or two people. Uh, so, again, I'm just going to copy this. I know it works, so may as well reuse it. If session number, that can be changed to number booked. You'll notice I'm not typing any of these in so that I don't make my own human typing errors. Number.value equals equals one. 
uh, window alert. We're just going to remove this part. In fact, I'm going to remove all of this part because they've done it for me. And I'll cut that and I'll put it in there. Window alert, thanks, name dot value of chosen day session. So as this is for one, this needs to go to one person. Okay. And I'm just going to save that and check it. Uh, number of people, one. House Oak, name Dave. Two. Ah, okay, so we've got an error somewhere along the line. Let's have a look at brackets. Window dot alert. Thanks, person. Um, ah, here we go. I shouldn't have cut that. Now I'm going against my old move rule by typing it. So let's copy. Okay. House Oak name Dave. Number of people uh, one and session two. Thanks, Dave. You have chosen undefined session two for one person. Chosen undefined. That doesn't sound good. Uh, but we've got the one person part working, so I'm just gonna copy this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go else and then we're going to paste and all we're going to have is the window alert now so we don't need that part. Window alert, thanks name, blah 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 and we're going to change it to people. Press save and let's try it with more than one person this time. Oak, name. Let's go for Dave again. Number of people, three, session two. Thanks, Dave, you have chosen Wednesday session two for three people. And that is all there is to it. Okay.